What's up my YouTube family, Sergeant Greybeard with another Division 2 video. Today is Thursday, March 11th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. In today's video, my friends, I'd like to show you one of my favorite ways to farm for XP in the game. And this is a video I put out, I'd say every four or five weeks, and it's really geared towards new players or people who are just returning to the game. Now, if you happen to be new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Secondly, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. So as most of you know, when you open up the map in the Division 2, you're going to have different options in regards to farming for XP. I mean, you can run missions, you can do control points, there are different patrols running around. However, one of my favorites has to do with farming territory controls. Now there happen to be a few things I'd like to point out as we start off. First of all, the location of these territory controls can change. Therefore, today I'm showing you four different options, and one of these are typically available anytime you open up the map. The other thing I'd like to point out really quick is I'm running this on challenging difficulty with three directives to give you a baseline of the kind of XP you can get in about 40 seconds of your time. You can see from the footage on the screen, I get to the location, there are some NPC, I take them out, then there's a second wave that comes through this door, I deal with them, grab the key, open the cache, and again, in less than a minute, I'm getting about 200,000 XP. At this point, I'm going to pick up any loot that dropped, and once that's done, I'm going to go to my map, I'm going to reset the control points, and the game will fast travel me back to the nearest safe house. You can see here, since I cleared that area, the territory control mark is no longer on the map. I'm going to reset everything like I said, and at this point, I'm going to let the timer click down on its own, keep the screen running, so you can see how quickly you can do this over and over again. Now, once I get back to the safe house, all I'm going to do is open up my map and go back to the area where the territory control was on the map. And once I've verified that it's reset, all I'm going to do, my friends, is hit this spot up over and over and over again. A few more things I'd like to point out before we get to the next location. First of all, you can do this on any difficulty that you want. Obviously, the harder the difficulty and the more directives, the more XP you're going to get. But the most important thing is being really efficient with your time. This, in my opinion, happens to be a great way for gamers who maybe don't have a lot of time to play in one session. You have like 30, 40 minutes and you really want to maximize your gameplay and get as much XP as possible. Once again, you can see on the screen, I take out that first wave of NPC, then some others come out the door. Once I take them out, again, grab the key, open up the cache. Now, this has been about two minutes of gameplay and I've netted about 400,000 XP. Now this is my favorite location to do this farming method because there's a fast travel point pretty much right there. Now as I mentioned before, this location may not be available, so now I want to show you a few other options. The next location I'll be showing you is in the East Mall. You can see right here, we're just going to go to that spot on the map. It's a little bit of a longer travel time in regards to, you know, just getting there from the safe house. But once you are, you can clear this thing again in under 40 seconds. Now in regards to the type of build you run, in my opinion, you want to use a run and gun build. So I'd say anything based around Hunter's Fury, you know, I'm using the Scorpio shotgun, but any SMG, AR, it doesn't really matter. You'll be able to get through these guys pretty quick. Once this last NPC is taken out, you're going to see the next wave come out through this door right here. I'm just going to rush in, kind of corner them off, take them out, grab the key, open up the cache. And again, because it's challenging in three directives, I'm netting about 200,000 XP. At that point, as I did in the other location, I'm going to open up my map, reset the control points. Now, one thing I want to show you really quick is what you need to do if, let's say, you reset those control points and the territory control doesn't reset. You can see on the screen that from my last attempt, that is exactly what happened. So at this point, I'm going to once again reset my control points and hopefully when it reloads again, that territory control will be back on the map. And as we move on to the next location, I want to also stress that you should not have to reset your control points four or five or six times in a row to get this to work. If it doesn't happen within the second or third attempt, move on to a different territory control. The next spot I'll be showing you is in West Potomac Park. You're just going to fast travel to Tidal Basin and go from there. And one thing I'd like to mention really quick is when I'm doing this, my main concern is the XP, not any loot or anything else that may drop. And the main reason I bring this up is for gamers who are on the fence between challenging and heroic difficulty, because the main goal is to get through this as fast as you possibly can. 
Having said that, obviously doing this on Heroic would give you more XP. However, if it takes you three times the amount of time, it's not as efficient as dropping the difficulty, adding a few directives, and going from there. One of the main reasons I'm actually making a video like this again is the fact that I think it was about a week and a half ago I put up a poll on the YouTube channel and I asked how many of you, or uh, not how many of you, where were you at with your shade level and about 1300 people voted so far. And as of this morning, 59% of you are at shade level between 0 and 500. So this is an incredibly fast and efficient way to get that shade level up. You can max out your watch, and that really comes in handy as you're building your character and moving forward in the game. And as we make our way to the last location for today, which is at Judiciary Square, I want to mention a few more things for new players, people just returning, that should really help you out in regards to when you choose and where you choose to farm for XP. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, one of the main things you want to remember is that some of these territory controls may not either spawn on the map when you want them to, or they may not be able to reset each time you run them. So what you want to do is make sure you go throughout the map, try a few out, and find some that seem to work for you. Now the main reason I've chosen these four is one of these are typically active. So let's see if that first one isn't there, one of the other ones, the West Potomac Park one is there, uh, vice versa, things like that. So one of these, again, should be available when you want to use this method. Another thing I'd like to point out really quick is what I do is I reset the control points in order to reset the map. However, your other option is just changing out one of your directives that will reset the map and not reset your control points. If you choose that method to reset things, you will not reset your control points and then you can use those as fast travel points and you may be able to find a territory control that's closer to one of the control points you actually cleared. And as I start to wrap this video up, what I'm showing you today are just some of my favorite ways to farm for XP. And I know that in the game there are people who will do, you know, different Warhound convoys and elite territory controls and things like that. But for me, those do not respond the same way that the regular territory controls do. I know that the elite territory controls are on about a 30 minute timer and these are great spots to hit up because you will face a named boss, there are a few extra waves of NPCs, but again if you want to hit that spot just hit it up, hit a 30 minute timer, then keep going back. Now in regards to the other methods, I know there are Warhound convoys, those pop up once every hour or two once you clear them, and as far as just the regular resource convoys or patrols, they never really seem to show up on my map on a regular basis. I've heard from a lot of you out there letting me know different ways you guys farm for XP and as always my friends you know the main goal here is to help out gamers as much as we can so any other tips or tricks you have please feel free to leave down below as the goal is to help out as often as possible. With all of that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this up. I want to once again take a moment and thank you all for your continued support. We should crack 12,000 subscribers this week. And again, just how you've, you know, just been behind this channel. It's been absolutely amazing. Now, one thing I want to mention really quick as I finish up is that the footage you're looking at right now is at my favorite, you know, farming spot, and it's from this morning. Gloves are the targeted loot. You can obviously check that yourself, and I want to show you how quickly, when you're efficient, you can get through this stuff. One of my main goals here is to make sure I show you viable options that are actually going on right now. And what you see in this footage is the fact that, you know, I clear this once, I go back to the safe house, the spot is not there, I have to reset the map a few times, but it pops back up and then I do about five or six in a row. And once again, the main reason I'm showing you this footage is to let you know if you are efficient with this method, you know, you find one of these spots that keeps resetting, you are going to be able to gain one shade level in about five minutes. As I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of what we're doing. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.
Weapons free. Access key detected. 